Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Peachy and I am going to be talking to you a little bit about an extra credit opportunity for physical science that will enable you to earn some additional points back um, in either your, well in your actual portfolio score or you can tack it on to your quiz score depending on um, what you choose to do. So what you'll see on the screen here is a program called Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm using to make this particular recording. And when you're doing this extra credit, you'll actually be using either Screencast-O-Matic or a different type of device that allows you to record your screen because that's what we need. Um, the simplest method for you to do would be to take, for example, your your smartphone and actually just hit the record button and turn the screen towards your screen and take a video of your computer screen and then email yourself that file um, or upload it to YouTube and this is a better method because it enables you to kind of bypass that and um, it looks a lot better so let's kind of go through what to do here first this is on uh, Microsoft Explorer, I seem to have better luck with that than with Chrome when using this program. But what you do is you're going to go to screentastomatic.com, which um, we'll see kind of at the top of the screen here. Okay, I'll go to screentastomatic.com and it will allow you to click on start recording. Um, you do need to sign up though, so you'll have to register for an account. Once you click on start recording, uh, mine's already opened, but it will give you the opportunity to actually record something without having to, to log in. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this up on a different browser real quick because then we can kind of see what you need to do. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see the screen now. And um, I put on a different computer screen here. So I'm going to hit start recording. Oh, it is still telling me that I'm already logged in. Another instance of the app is still running. Hmm. And that looks like it might be that I'm already open here in Chrome. I'll try it one more time. It might just be really smart. Yeah, it's telling me that it's already open. But what you would normally do is you would hit the um, record button and then you don't have to install the full app. You can actually just record right on the browser itself. So you'll end up seeing a little window that allows you to record. Um, and you can take up to 15 minutes of recording with the free version. So that's actually really nice. Once you get that up and running, then um, you don't have to start taking a video right away. What you need to do first is figure out how to set up a trap here using the Tom's Trapomatic game. I have a link to this Trapomatic game on the website. And you are going to. You're going to, um, hang on a sec. It's going to start off looking like this. And then you'll click play. Right there. And then you're going to select either the kitchen or the living room. And when I did it, I did the kitchen, which is totally fine. I got to say I'm super bummed because... I did this and I spent a long time on it and then I accidentally deleted it or somehow clicked off of it and it's gone. So make sure you don't do that. So I'm skipping the instructions right now, but you can look at those if you want to. You're going to be um, trying to build a Rube Goldberg device, which is made up of multiple simple machines to be able to catch, t or catch Jerry in the cage here. So we're going to go ahead and, and skip those instructions for now. 
And what you want to do is you got to bypass all this furniture and you've got to get over here and make this uh, cage fall down on Jerry when he goes and tries to get the cheese. So here is your first starting point. It is a mouse trap. And you go into the device library because the mouse trap has to kind of do something else. It's got to trigger your next device. So I start like by connecting these two. The mouse trap goes to the fire extinguisher on a skateboard, and the fire extinguisher on the skateboard is going to go over here. So I need a n my next device, which let me do. I'm going to try the tea um, kettle. And you can turn these around. And as you can see right now, like all of these form complete, like dashed lines that are white, yellow, white. That's good because that's what we want to have happen. If it didn't work, you would get a red line. And let me kind of show you what that looks like. So let me do let me do the boot next. Let's say I tried to. Sorry, I gotta figure out where to put this boot guy. He's gonna be too far away. Okay. Let's say I tried to turn him this direction. Uh, he's actually. Let's say I had, got, did it like that for some reason. That doesn't work, so you can see the red line. You know, it's saying, no, we can't do that. So you need to turn it back around so that it continues to work. Okay? So everything should continue to be not red. Sometimes you add something and then something changes to red and you're just like, ah, oh, come on, that worked a minute ago. So basically you just kind of keep doing this um, until you find something. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. So right now I could start this and say, okay, I want to know what this does. So let me go ahead and test the trap. Let me move my picture. You can click test trap and then you'll get this video and so you can see Tom he drops a feather on the trap okay and so it blew up because it didn't work it ended right there so here we would go to edit the trap and we would have to do something else this didn't even get this thing to go so my guess is this one is just not, I mean, I could try putting another one in here and seeing is this just because I didn't put enough stuff or because I actually, you know, um, oops. So I'm going to test it again just to see if the glove didn't really work or if it just didn't have enough stuff. So it stopped short of its goal. <laughs> So you may have to do some test runs, you know. See, yeah, the glove just doesn't work there. So we got to get that glove out of there. Oh, Tom is so mad. Let's edit the trap. Let's get that glove out of there. That was not a good item to put in there. So I'm going to have to put something other than the glove. Um, Maybe I'll try a turtle. Turtles work really well, actually. Hang on a sec. I was wrong. Uh-oh. That's not the right spot. So now it looks like it should work, right? But did that before, too, and it didn't work. So let's test it again. Go, turtle, go! Okay, so far, so good. It just didn't go anywhere, right? We didn't have anything blowing up, though, so good deal. So what you guys have to do is get this whole thing to work so that you catch Jerry. Once you got that down, then use the screen o -matic to record it, and you can save it as an MP4 file, and so that's a video file, and then you can just email me that file. Um... And that will basically allow you to give it to me so that I can get you the extra credit. If for some reason the email itself doesn't work because it's too big, 
um, you can upload it to YouTube and then just send me the link to that um, YouTube video okay um, you can also upload it to like Google video I think like you have a Google account and then you can share that Google um, with me that uh, Google file with me and let me give you my actual email so that you can do that I think this is actually on my uh, website too but so my actual email is So that's my email email, not my webmail account. So if you need to share something with me on um, Google, Google Drive, that's where you share it because that'll go right to me. Okay? So hopefully that helped you and you kind of understand what you need to do. And um, let me know when you turn it in whether or not you want to have it applied toward your quizzes or toward your portfolios. And I'm looking at, you know, adding um, enough points so that it would raise your, um, you know, it actually count quite a bit for your quizzes or your portfolios. So whether it's a quiz or portfolio would kind of change how many points it's worth. But for example, for the portfolios, a regular portfolio is about 20 points. And so as a um, an extra credit, this would be worth up to um, 10 points, but I have to actually do the, the calculations to get the exact amount, okay? So it's fun to do anyway, so if you're, you know, looking for a little fun game and just record yourself doing it, then it's pretty easy to get those extra credit points. So hopefully that made sense, and I wasn't rambling too much. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll talk to you later.